Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a haul and I have a ton of different things here and I'm very excited to share them all with you. Um, but let's jump right into this. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is something that I didn't purchase, but I wanted to show you guys because it was something that I had talked about. Um, so one of my subscribers, her name is Trika Plans on Instagram, I believe. She sent me this really, really cute card um, from Wonton and Millions like stationery set and a few different like die cuts and stickers and stuff um, because she was just really sweet. And I did a Michaels haul not too long ago, and I said that I was looking for some of these. So the first thing that she sent me in the card, other than the card itself, was this little magnetic bookmark or planner clip, and it just has the, um, what is that called? I have the little menu here so that I can refer to them properly, but I always forget. Um, this is the Shrimp Dumpling Steamy. Um, with the boba or like milk tea I believe and it's just purple and it's magnetic and I love it I probably will use it as a bookmark like in a book as opposed to my planner, but um, Really really pretty and it's foiled as well And then these are like die cuts. They are also stickers. I believe yeah You can peel off the backing and make them stickers, but I don't know what pack they're from But there's just a ton of different ones. They say like I love dim sun um, your wonton in a million and little like different different things there so um, and most of them are foiled in some way with like pink foil either the bow or the heart or um, the spoon in this case so those are really cute um, I'm excited to try and find a way to use them in like my Kiki K setups and then lastly this was the thing that I knew she was sending me and these are a few of the sticker sheets um, so this one is from I think it's the adulting one, but I'm not sure, but it just has a bunch of different workout fitness related stickers and they are gold foiled. And then in here, this is something I'm so excited for. This is the um, Wonton in a Million sticker book. Does it say which one though? I'm not seeing something that's like very distinctive right now, but there is this number right there if you guys are interested. Um, but this is like all of the food related ones. So, um, this first sheet is like the dessert one, so it has a ton of different foiled stickers with different desserts like cupcakes, macarons, all that stuff. And then you have the um, ramen, dim sum, hot plate um, type stickers. None of these are foiled, but they're really, really cute. And then we have this one, which is like takeout. Um, it's kind of a variety. There's like pizza, margaritas, different like scripts. Some of these are foiled gold as well. Actually, most of them are. Um, and then we have this one, which is like healthy food at the top compared, um, combined with takeout down at the bottom. I really love these takeout stickers. I'm probably going to use a ton of these, but it's also nice to have some salad ones, especially during the summer when I go to a salad place by my work all the time. Um, and then we have these, which are like date stickers. So there's like dinner date, lunch date, and coffee date. And then there's a few different flags, breakfast, lunch, dinner, trackers, and burritos. And then we have this one, which is like fast food. So there's pizza, um, hot dogs. Wait, no, I made that up. Oh yeah, hot dogs, hamburgers. Um, and then there's even like spaghetti and drinks and stuff like that. So get a lot of use out of that as well. And then lastly, all things boba and ice cream related. So again, going into the summer months, definitely get a lot of use of these. And there even are just some like gold foiled hearts in there too, which are great for decoration. So thank you so much. Trika plans for sending that to me. I'm excited to use them in my planner. Next, I have this order here from Pretty Sheepy, and this is one of the first orders that I made for my Hobonichi. Um, I actually already used one of these sheets. Um, I'll show you my Hobonichi, how it ended up looking at, looking, yeah, that made sense, sorry. Um, and it was because, like, it was an all-purple kit that I really wanted to use for my mom's birthday. So that's why I used it before hauling it. Um, but let me pull that out so I can show you guys. It was, like, a purple-themed Disney kit. And um, I have it right here. I used all but two stickers, I believe. Um, so as you can see, very, very pretty, but still lots of space to do whatever you may need. Um, oh, no, sorry, four stickers because I saved the habit trackers. But that is what that looked like. Um, and then these are the other ones that I got. So this is the freebie that came with my order. It has a full box and then some decorative items there. And then I got two other kits and a functional sheet. So this is the Up collection. Um, it comes with the 
date cover-ups, a weekend banner. These are strips that I cut up to divide different things. This is like the top washi and the bottom washi habit trackers, which do, they're the same size as Erin Condor ones, so I just saved them for my multicolor collection. You have some scripts, little icons, decorative um, items, and then a smaller full box. I don't believe that these are the same size as Erin Condor full boxes, but it's the same concept. Um, and then this is another Hobonichi week, but it is um, just like the blush Disney color scheme clip art type thing, so I thought that would be really cute if I do go to Disney or if I just want something simple and girly. Um, and then lastly, I saw this sheet when I was picking everything up, and I couldn't resist it. It says, messy bun, getting stuff done, and I feel like this is the epitome of my life during the weekends. So you get some smaller ones and some bigger ones, and it's Tinkerbell, so I just thought it was really cute. It's a way to incorporate Disney into my planner without being like super over the top Disney, if that makes any sense. So that was my little haul from Pretty Sheepy. I know that she's probably going to come out with more Hobonichi kits, so definitely we'll be ordering more of those. Um, this is an order from Aria's, I think that's how you say it, Aria's Daydream. Um, more Hobonichi stuff. I think this order and the next one are Hobonichi things, and then the rest are of other sorts. But this was another thing that I ordered kind of right away when I ordered my planner. And she has some really great, like, functional and decorative things for the Hobonichi. Um, so this is the freebie. I have ordered from her before, but it was quite a long time ago. Um, so that's the freebie. And then we have the different kits here. So a kit from her, like a Hobonichi kit, is these two pages here. So this smaller one has the date cover-ups, the top washi, bottom washi, and then some, like, little quarter boxes. And then on this bigger sheet here, you have a variety of different squiggle boxes, regular boxes. You have these like calendar looking ones um, and then some like decorative items. This right here is small strips and then one big one as well. A weekend banner checklist. Um, these post-it notes are really, really cute as well and a build do. So a great variety and like the colors match up. This colorway is called Hope Springs, I believe. Um, and this is the deco sheet. I, I think you she sells them separately, so you can just get one. Um, but if you wanted like both of them, I think these are your choices. Um, so yeah, so this is Hope Springs. I also got this one, which is Dreamsicle. Um, very simple, kind of pastel-y colors. Um, really reminds me of spring. This one is Blissful Vibes, which is using that kind of like moon child clip art that is in a lot of stuff. I really, really love this bottom washi here. Um, I just think it's so perfect. This, I didn't really realize that I already had gotten a kit um, from Nicole Hutch Designs um, with the same clip art, but I really do like it. Um, it has the flowers down at the bottom, um, and again, just a really simple, easy kit to use. Um, I like to focus on simplicity in my Hobonichi, but if I can do something decorative and fun, I like that. And then I got these three different date cover-up sheets. They come with one, two, three, four, five different sets, or five weeks in one sheet, which is really nice. So this one is the pastel day covers, and it has different colors for each day of the week. Then there's this one, which is the neutral date covers. And then lastly, these are the plain date covers. So they're just white with different colors on the inside. Um, so you have like bronze and gold and silver. This is like coppery, I guess, and then a black too. So I'm all set for my Hobonichi, but I need more, obviously. <laughs> so this is from Perfect Prince Co, who I used to get a lot of um, kits from for my inserts. And she popped up on my feed on Instagram, I think, and I was reminded. And um, she had a lot of functional things that I wanted to pick up to hopefully use in my Hope Oneji. So these are the two freebies that came with it. This is because... This is just a freebie. I don't know if this was an extra or if I got it too, but it is a Harry Potter's like glasses decal so I'm gonna put that in my D stash pile along with this and you can see that there is a um, sale that's going on April 11th through 15th so if you're interested in anything you can definitely participate in that I'll also be putting this in the D stash pile because there's like Harry Potter stickers on it and whatnot um, and this is what I ordered from her she has a ton of different like multicolored kits um, for the Hobonichi so just got a ton of them. I think I got every single color. If I didn't, I like skipped out on two or three different colors. Um, but definitely check her website or her 
I think she's on Etsy still, but I'm not sure. Definitely check her out. Um, I'll have everyone linked down below. So these are her like glitter kits. And so it's just one sheet of stickers. You get the top and the bottom washi. You get four quarter boxes and four half boxes. You have these little um, headers, um, checklists, date, cover-ups, and then a weekend banner. So very simple, um, but great like multicolored things to have. So I got yellow, green, purple. Her paper is matte, but it is really, really saturated colors, which is nice. Um, this is her pink one, the red one, the blue one, the teal, gray, and then an orange as well. So just the basics there. I can pull it into other kits or I can just use it if I want just a glitter bomb day in a certain color. So that is that. Next, I have one, two, three, four Scribble Prints orders, which I don't know if anyone's surprised anymore, but let me pull all of these out. Um, I think a few of them are Wiggles, and then there's like a kit in there as well. Um, oh, two kits. One's a mystery kit. So let's go through the mystery kit first. This is the, was this March? No, I think, I believe this is April. She's been sending them out really early lately, so it's hard to remember what's going on. But, um, this kit, I think, I think I have a plan for, but I'll explain as we go along. So, there's a ton of extras in here. We have this little, um, vinyl decal, which is purple with some silver glitter inside. This is really, really pretty. I'll have to find a nice place to put that. Um, and then the kit freebie here is with Andrea's little munchkin. And then we have all of the foiled items, which this foil is really, really pretty. Um, it's like a hollow sparkle purple. Um, my camera's picking up really, really well right there, as you can see. So there's the bottom washi foil, um, which this looks like it's miscut. I don't know, that looks really weird to me. Because there's not like a bottom part. Hmm. The only reason why I'm not gonna complain is because all of the bows are okay, but that's like very un Andrea like. So I'm surprised that that got by her. Um, but as you can see, like over here, there's like just a tiny, tiny little sliver of, um, I don't know if you even can see it, but like of the sticker paper. But over here, there's like not, none of that. Um, so yeah, if it had affected the bows, I would definitely contact her, but. I'm just surprised. Usually all of her stuff is like very on point. So there's the bottom washi. It's a different bow that matches the bow in the kit. Um, and then there's these, which are just like decorative bows. And then we have this, which has the little like decorative bits, the emojis, another bow, flag overlays, and a weekend banner, which is not cut out, which is kind of disappointing, but I'm hoping that she's going to fix that soon because... You know, even though it's on transparent paper, eh. Um, and then we have these, which are the circle icons and then the date dots. Oh my gosh, there's a foil flaw in that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like everything else sparkles really well. And then like in the center of the glasses there, it's kind of dented. Hmm. Again, I'm just surprised because Andre's stuff is always like, even when you get misfits, you're like, why is this misfit? Um, but yeah, so... I don't know. Anyways, there's more deco bows here. And these are the header overlays. This is like a star or a twinkle looking one. And then we have the um, full box overlays. So I'm actually not going to keep any of these foil items in with this kit because I'm going to use all of these for the merbabe kit, which you guys, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so I'm actually going to like put those over to the side. And let's jump into the kit here. So we have the Fashion Girl boxes, which I really, really like these. Um, I don't even know which one I would use. I think these two are my favorite. Um, but yeah, I really like those. Um, and so this is like a Planner Friends kit, um, which I'm going to end up using this in my Rewind Planner just because it's not my favorite. I don't do a whole lot of like girly plannery things um, or like sleepovers and stuff. So I'm just going to use it as a Rewind in April, I think, if not May. Um, it's really cute, but... It's not like main 
planner ready for me, I guess. Um, so it does come with the 15 millimeter washi add-on, which I'm starting to very much appreciate the idea of these. Um, and then we have the full boxes here, again, just very girly and sleepovery. And then we have the deco boxes, work labels, all the extra stuff, weekend banner. We have our extra box, squared off boxes, these check boxes, icons, the functional page with sidebar things, the boxes page, headers and patterned washi and fancy labels, um, little things, solid washi, check boxes, the bottom washi and date cover ups, and an extra full box there, and then the glitter header samplers. So that is the mystery kit. This is the April mystery kit, it says on there. Um, so yeah, she ships them out really early, that's why I was confused. Um, but I'm not complaining about that early thing. I really like them having or getting here early. Did that make sense? Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. But let's move in to the Merbabe Kit. Wow, I can't say it. Merbabe Kit, um, because I'm excited to use that. I already have a week that I'm ready to use it in. Um, so this is that, and it comes with the Kit Sampler as well. This was the freebie in that order. It's the Follow Your Dreams overlay. And um, Emily sent me a little note that said that the fashion girl in here reminded me, re reminded her of me. There we go. And I'm assuming she's talking about this one here, which I can kind of see what she's talking about, but I wish I had beautiful hair like that. <laughs> um, so I just love this kit so much. It's so summery. It's so pretty. I love this like biker vest and the bathtub. I just think it's really, really cute. So those are the full boxes. The functional page. I did get the mini kit, so. Um, and then this has the, like, glitter speckles on the um, flags, which I love. And, oh my gosh, it matches my nails. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and then the boxes, little things, and sidebar headers. And then you have the bottom washi and this extra box, which I love this pattern so much. And the date cover-ups. I did go ahead and get the 15 millimeter like, subway tile add-on for the bottom washi, and then I opted for the, like, glittery, holographic type solid color glitter sampler as opposed to, like, the colorful one, um, just because I thought that it would look really fun with the overlays from the other kit. So that is everything for that. Like I said, I'm going to keep this foil with this kit because that's where I'm planning to use it, and yeah. Um, I, like I said, I believe I'm planning to use this kit in June, which sounds so far away because <laughs> um, I cannot wait to use this kit, but it'll look beautiful and I'm excited. So there is that. And then we have the journaling card that I think came with that order. Um, and then we have another journaling card from a different order. This is from a Wiggle. So this is... Oh, this is a really pretty overlay. So this is Emily Sampler. If you guys are ever interested in the sampler, it's really cute. It's holographic foil. Um, just use her code on her Instagram. Um, and then we have this overlay that says, find your happily ever after. I love that quote and that handwriting is beautiful. This was the rose gold um, wiggle that came out. So I got four, yeah, four sheets or four packs, I should say, of it. And it's the same format as it has been. You get your corners, your circles, and your date cover-ups, header cover-ups, um, or overlays, I should say, full box overlays, your, like, sampler, um, and then your bottom washi overlays as well. This is a really, really pretty, um, rose-colored foiled kit. I don't know how you want to say it, but I am interested because there was like a debate going on between Emily and Andrea about how close the two rose gold foils are, and so I wanted to see. It is just a shade different. On camera, it doesn't look different at all, and it's not different enough that I wouldn't use them together, um, but I was interested to see. This one looks a little bit more matte. I would say that that's the best way to explain it, in case you were wondering like I was. But that is that wiggle. And then lastly, we have this wiggle here, which is the new format. It's not on transparent paper, um, and it's just a little bit different. We have another one of those journaling cards, which I'm gonna put all of those in my D-stash pile, because I already have them. And then a new overlay that says Dream of the Magical Things, which, love that too. And, Emily sent me, I hope you have a great and safe spring, which Emily, I am trying so hard. <laughs> um, 
but more on that in my Tuesday video if you haven't seen that already. Um, so this is the new wiggle. I got one pack and an extra of the date cover-ups and the bow um, overlays just because I thought this color and this foil is so pretty. It is a holographic uh, foil and that's stunning. Um, but it's a different paper and I'm obsessed with this paper. Like I almost wish she would offer this for everything that she has uh, because it's like this beautiful vinyl-y matte um, premium matte type feeling paper and it's thick but not too thick. I just love it so much and like the foiling quality on it is just amazing. So um, and it's possible that I'm going to be using one of these wiggles in like a collab soon. So I'm very excited about that. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So in a pack you get the bow header overlays. You get the date cover up. So you get two sheets or it's not two sheets, two sets, I should say. Um, and then you get this like decorative page, which has flags and bows. And then you get this one, which has circle icons. And then you get the bottom washi which has the speckles and the bows as well. So really love this and I'm glad that she picked a color that will most likely match a lot of different kits that the planner community comes out with because they kind of stick to the same colors generally. Um, but that's it for Scribble Prints Co. That was a lot, but that's it. Um, next we have Glam Planner, which is the mystery kit for March. Um, and this was like a cruise theme. Um, which I'm not going on a cruise, so I'll probably just use this in June as like a summer kit, but it is really pretty. So you have this like ombre rainbow washi on the sides there. You have your big half boxes, some full boxes, your functional page, another half box, and the glitter headers are really pretty. I love this sushi and the strength full box. I think those are so cute. And then you have your deco, weekend banner, and more various boxes there. So again, love the format of these kits for my inserts, um, but if I move out of my inserts at any point, I don't know that this kit would be viable, although I have been interested, like, if I get one that I really, really love, to try and use it in my main planner. So that might be a mock spread that comes in the future, or even a main spread. It depends on how I think that through. <laughs> Next, we have Magic Frinsco, and oh my gosh, she posted that she had new releases, and I saw that she did shot stickers, and I was just so excited, <laughs> because as someone who gets six shots a week, um, you need stickers for it. So, um, I also got a lot of rose-colored, or rose-gold colored items, because I want to build up my rose gold foiled collection. Um, so the freebie here is gold, I believe. No, it's rose gold. Um, so I have that to add to my collection, which has like little pancakes and stuff like that, which is really cute. Um, and then I did get a graduation countdown in rose gold, just so I have it available in case I need it. Um, and then these are the stickers that I got. So I got the shots in gold, silver, and rose gold, because like I said, I get six shots a week. So, I mean, I only mark it twice in my planner, but when you go twice a week, you need stickers for it. So I'm glad to have foiled ones now um, that are actual shots as opposed to like a nurse or a doctor sticker. Um, I got the Happy Meal script in rose gold as well. I got currently reading and finished reading boxes in rose gold. And then I got these date cover-ups, which I'm really excited about. It comes with two weeks of the actual headers, and then it comes with a full month of date dots. So I got one in gold, one in silver, and one in rose gold. And then lastly, I picked up a rose gold set of the toothbrush and toothpaste stickers that I use in my habit tracker section every single week. So that is my, my, um, haul, I guess, from Magic Prince Co. And I do save these um, for if I put pictures in anything. I like to cut them up and protect the pictures um, just because pictures touching each other never work. So if you want to repurpose any of these that you get in your orders, definitely use them that way. Um, second to last, we have this order from Planning Roses, which I'm very excited about. This was from her pre-sales for April, I believe it was. So I have quite a few different things here. I have two different kits and some monthly stuff. So we'll start with that first. Um, this is the freebie, which I believe was the same as last time, very neutral with her new icons. Then we have this monthly kit, which is the Serenity format, or Serenity clip art, I should say. Um, and so I got the undated version so that I can use the foiled overlay here, which is for May. You get the script for the top and then the holidays, payday, and happy birthday. Um, and then we have the strips, the date dots, and the icons, the um, other 
strip to mark off days that aren't in the month. Sidebar stuff, I would have gotten a decorative sidebar, but there was not one for this kit since it wasn't really like Fashion Girl or anything like that. Um, and more labels. And then you have your bill due, bigger boxes, decorative boxes, icons, and flags. So what I might do is just end up stacking a bunch of these up, or maybe I'll use this sideways. I'll have to play around with that. That'll be exciting. So this is for May. I actually just ordered my other May kit, um, which I'll probably use this in my rewind and the one that I ordered in my main, um, but I'm not sure because the other one is graduation related, so I'll have to think hard about that. But that is the monthly kit there, and then I also got the notes page kit that matches that, um, again, just because it was really pretty, and she has changed her format up a little bit, so you have the top section, whoa, you have the top section here, which is like one big sticker, and then these are cut up little deco pieces, which is nice, so that you can add them in anywhere that you want, and she did fix it so that, did she? Oh yeah, she did fix it so that when you put it down, the, um, at least I think she did. I don't know. So that the pattern lines up, or at least that's what she said she did. I don't know. But you get your four boxes down here. So this is one big sticker, one big sticker, and the little deco stickers down at the bottom. Um, I did get the Serenity Collection in a kit format, and I did get it foiled. And oh my gosh, I love this paper that this is on so much. This is like a premium matte paper. I'm hoping she's going to switch to it permanently, because I just love this so much. But... Let me give you a little foil wiggle there. She offered it in rose gold and silver. I went with silver because I'm a silver junkie, um, but my mom got it in rose gold. Um, but I like both of them so much, but I don't know. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I should have gotten rose gold, but um, I do really, really like it anyway. So this is the full boxes. Um, it looks like all but two boxes have foiling on them, and the foiling is so pretty, so stunning. Um, and then you have this sheet here, which has the bottom washi strips, glitter headers, and sidebar headers. Um, there's no foil on this sheet. This is the functional page, and the date cover-ups are foiled. And then you have the half boxes, labels, sidebar, bill due, and habit trackers. And then I got the little thing sheet, so the headers on here are foiled, and then you have your little things there as well. So I'm using this in a few weeks, and I could not be more excited. I'm very ready for it. I believe I'm using it as a transition into May from April uh, because of the purples and the peaches. Next, we have the Hippity Hop collection, which is my Easter kit, and this is such a cute collection. Um, I did get the add-on sheet which has the deco and the extra full boxes because I wanted this girl because I feel like she looks like me and I really like this quote on here, bloom and grow. Um, and it comes with different options in skin tone in case you didn't want the options that are in here. So pick that up. These are the full boxes that come in the kit. I did get matte for this one. I don't know if that was on purpose or a mistake, but I don't mind. Um, mistake on my part, not her part. Um, I did order matte. Um, I really like the quote that she has on here too, Bunny Kisses Easter Wishes, and the colors are just so, so cute. I love this blue. Um, but it is the same format as the other kit that I got, so I'll just go quickly through it. I do like that she did brown with the teal and pink. I think it's a good good mix. Um, and again, it got the little things sheet as well, just because I I was really thinking of not doing little things in my planner, and it just didn't work out because I'm obsessed with little things. It just works um, with my planning style. So that is my order from Planning Roses. And lastly, we have the Simplicity box here from Simply Gilded, which this box, I feel like it gave a lot of struggles to <laughs> um, Simply Gilded. And um, I'm excited about what she's like planning to do and moving towards, um, but there was a few things that I was just like kind of interested in how that all played out. But, um, so there's a ton of stuff in here because there was a washi that was messed up and she sent both of the washi, so I'm glad that she did that because I don't really see the problem with the washi that she said was messed up. Um, but, yeah, anyways. So in here we have the little, um... What does she call these? I forget what she called it. It's the um, bracelet, but it's not on the card. 
that's so interesting um, but it's the little cuff and it's like a pinky rose gold um, it's really really cute really pretty um, I might definitely wear this one my camera coming off it's almost on the silver side so I really do like it and I'll probably wear it um, for certain occasions but um, and it comes in this really nice pouch as well and then I can move some of this stuff off to the side. We have the journaling card here, which says fresh, fresh, simple, and clean, um, which that journaling card definitely is. <laughs> and then we have this, which is like a cotton, they look like cotton material, which is kind of cute for summer. Um, but there is the planner clip on a gold paper clip, and then this like kind of clasp one here. Um, and then we have the pen, which, whoa, is like a cap pen, and it's like a ballpoint. I don't know what color it is, but I don't want to take the tip off until I'm ready. Um, but still, just a very simple, clean pattern there. Then we have the notepad here, which I'm glad that she didn't do like an inserts, because I feel like that's the thing that a lot of people don't get use out of, because you need to have like the right size thing to use it in. But this is really cute because it says market list. I actually think I'm going to give this to my mom because I know she would really enjoy it. And it is silver foiled with little strawberries. So I think that's really cute. So I'm going to pass that on to her. And then this was something I was so excited to see. So she has changed her sticker paper, which is something that I feel like a lot of people have complained about is how thick her sticker paper is. I don't really mind it because I use it on my inserts. So it doesn't really affect the, like the thickness of my planner. Um, what I am interest, interested to see is if she's changed the width of the full boxes to fit into an Erin Condren. So there was a bit of an oopsies on here, um, which is that this is one big sticker. And that's kind of a bummer. Um, but you can like cut it into different strips if you want to. Um, but it is foiled perfectly and it's cut perfectly into a big old rectangle, but not into the little strips. So she said that she would fix it for the future. Um, but yeah, that was like the oopsies on here. Next, we have all of the different full boxes. So now there's eight full boxes, which I think is amazing. There's also headers in here um, and date cover-ups, which these double as date cover-ups. And then you have flags and little circle icons, check boxes, these like scripts and deco stickers. So, you know, as we move into this like thinner paper, if the boxes are the right size, I might even transfer some of these kits into my... Um, main planner because I really do like the foiling in them and I like her design elements and stuff and I really like the idea of being able to use a lot of the washi in my planner so definitely we'll be looking into doing that and then there were these deco stickers of Juniper and oh I forget the bear's name is it Barry I feel like it's something simple like that but they're really cute and I believe she illustrates them herself so you just have the two different colorways for each of them um so yeah I'm gonna keep this all together this will probably end up in my inserts just because I don't want to like jump right into using them in my main planner or my rewind planner but I'm telling you it probably won't be long until you see one of these kits in those planners lastly we have the washies um oh that's right there is the there is the inserts it's in here um so yeah, this is something that I'm thinking that she's going to do away with, especially since she just did like a, a survey. This is like a card that explains that there was an oopsies and that she's not going to replace anything that's messed up, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but these are the inserts, matches like the pattern of everything. It's really cute, really simple. Keep it simple, sweetheart, which is cute. Um, I'm thinking about destashing a bunch of these inserts because I just don't use them and I just have a ton of them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stick that in the destash pile right now and probably go through my stash of the other ones that I have and do the same. I, my, they don't even fit in my TN, so there's that. Anyways, this is the pouch. It's lined on the inside and it even has the Simply Gilded tag, which I think is a really cute touch. Um, and then we have all the washies. So this is what I'm super excited about. It's silver. It's like the reverse bow washi and it's all silver. This was in lieu of or like because of this washi being an oopsies. Like I said, I haven't really been able to tell what the oopsies is. I think it's just that there's like some speckles or something, uh, but it's supposed to be like a pearly bow on a pink background um it's not really foiled but the idea is that like this is like a pearl foiling i guess i don't know um but it is really pretty and i'm not bothered by like the oops at least right now um and then we have the checkered this reminds me of like a picnic blanket um no foil on that one there is this which is like the quote washi washi which has the fruits in between it and a bunch of different sayings light and airy fresh and fun happy 
um, all that kind of stuff. And then we have this one, which is the flower and leaf pattern. No foil on that one either. And then there's this, which is the reverse bow washi, the five millimeter. All right, guys, my camera cut me off, sadly, while I was explaining these reverse bow washies, but I think it was just in time for me to finish explaining them. But in case it didn't, I love these. <laughs> um, you get rose gold, silver, and gold. Um, but this is everything in this haul. I'm really excited about all of it. I'm very excited to move into like summertime things. Um, I feel like my brain is already in summer and I haven't even graduated, but I need to like focus so I can get to summer. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.